Hi everyone and welcome to Cars! Today I would like to tell you a little bit more about my 2024 Ford Maverick XL with a 2 liter EcoBoost and I just fueled up for the first time with that easy fill fuel filler. Here, let me show you. It's just really straightforward. You don't have to unscrew a cap and there's all sorts of security and safety features built in. And yes, as you can see there, it really only requires 87 octane. However, in the manual, it does say that it is recommended to use premium fuel, so like 91 octane and higher, in the summer and if you are towing. So in other words, hot weather or towing, anything like that where there is a higher chance of knocking. So long story short, I went ahead and did my first fuel up today and with that fuel up, I went ahead and used premium. All right, so with that, I know it's not required, but it said in the manual that performance can suffer if you are using 87 octane in the hot weather or towing. So hey, why put the vehicle through that? Why rob myself of the opportunity for a bit more power if I want it? And I do this cool thing with Shell Fuel Rewards. There's other rewards out there with other companies, but... Long story short, I saved 60 cents a gallon today at the Shell station, and that's because of the Shell Rewards. I don't even have their credit card, I just do the rewards card, like so many companies these days have a rewards card. So if you're purchasing fuel regularly somewhere, you might as well get rewards if they have that same program. Now, you may be asking, well, what kind of mileage did you get? Well, this particular trip with the trip meter, which I reset, like, it was probably about 179 miles or something like that before I fueled up. In that last 179 miles or so, I got uh, about 29.1 miles per gallon combined. Now, the majority of my driving is on the highway. However, I do have a fair amount of city traffic with some stop and go, but I do actually use the start stop. I just let it be at its default. Now, if somebody wants to turn that off, you can go ahead and use the button down here to turn that off. But I usually will only do that if I am parking or something like that, straightening out into the garage where I don't want it to just kick on and off multiple times. So long story short, I was actually very impressed with the start stop. I thought I was going to absolutely hate it. I actually like it a lot of the time. I just have to remember that if I am at a stoplight and it's turning green and there's maybe a few vehicles in front of me, I can go ahead and let my foot off the brake just a moment sooner than maybe I otherwise would. And when I let my foot off the brake, it'll go ahead and start the engine. And then when I'm ready to go, I just go and I don't have to worry about, you know, lagging behind or some rough start or something like that. And even if I am ready to go right away, it's so quick and smooth that it's not really a hassle. Incidentally, I've been using the Maverick Sunshade. That's the custom Maverick Sunshade that you can get from Ford. And I got a great deal with the Lithia Ford. So that Sunshade was actually included for me. I was wanting to get one anyhow and that ended up being part of the deal and I'm really happy. So with that, I was starting to talk a bit about the gas mileage. So 29.1 for that particular trip before I reset the trip meter. But this was my first fuel up with uh, 
just about 394 miles on the truck and I averaged it out to be approximately 27 miles per gallon including everything so that is the initial first miles that I drove it plus you know using it a little bit differently than I would if I wasn't just getting used to the truck so I went on some shorter trips kind of for fun and just to get used to how it feels how it rides all those sorts of things and that ended up still putting me at like 27 miles per gallon combined and the awesome thing is the city rating is like 22 and the highway rating is like 29 miles per gallon i think those are the exact numbers well long story short the combined is supposed to be 25 so i'm already above that and i'm using it in the normal mode there is an eco mode if you really want to hyper mile the truck but i'm just using it in the normal mode and you can change that with the mode button down here but as of yet i have just used the i've just used the the normal i haven't used sport haven't used eco so anyhow i could talk about this for a long time but i will tell you a few other things so one you may see if you look really closely at least if you are in person you may see that it's the vehicle is starting to get a little bit of pollen and little bits of bugs and a little bit of i don't know <laughs> something like silk or plant fibers on it well i washed and waxed the truck just right after getting it, essentially immediately after taking delivery of the truck. I just used turtle wax, the liquid, and I believe the, uh, the wash that I used was also turtle wax brand for the vehicle wash. And when I do that, I dry it with a nice microfiber towel that's super absorbing. That helps avoid the water spots but long story short that wax is quite thick and so it lasts for a long time I also keep the truck in the garage and so that helps to preserve the finish but anyhow if it doesn't uh, get some good rain here soon I'm going to end up washing it again but it should be pretty easy with that wax there I do recommend if there's any bird droppings or major bug splatters <laughs> on the finish that you do use something like a, a wet microfiber cloth carefully to remove that, especially if you haven't already waxed the vehicle recently. But in any case, uh, it is supposed to rain here within the next few days, and we'll see how everything goes. But with that, keep in mind, I suspect back to the gas mileage again for a moment i suspect that on the highway especially if i was doing something like the eco mode that i would be getting about 30 maybe 30 plus miles per gallon so you can get excellent mileage with this vehicle keep in mind the braking period is a thousand miles so i'm roughly a third of the way there and i'm still getting excellent mileage even though it's expected to get a little lower gas mileage when you have the break-in period still being completed so anyhow with that i am very very pleased and oh i will show you one other thing before i wrap up this video and that is i love the seating position here nice and high and even though i went with the manual seat because it's the xl i have really all the major adjustments i need i don't feel like i miss lumbar support even though i really appreciate good lumbar support in a vehicle when i have it i feel like i don't really miss it with 
this truck and I feel like I have a lot of room for my legs. I'm five foot eight, so not super tall, but I have a lot of room in that footwell. So that makes it nice, especially if I use the cruise control, I can just put my feet flat on the floor, stretch them out, whatever, and I feel almost like I'm sitting in a desk chair or something like that, a comfortable desk chair. So anyhow, that is what I will leave you with. And yes, it is built Ford Tough. All right, everyone. See you on the next video.